A college community is searching for answers after a devastating crash claimed the lives of four of its own. The entire campus of North Carolina Wesleyan is reeling tonight. CBS North Carolina's Steve Sprasia has their story. Tonight, a simple memorial sits outside the front gate to North Carolina Wesleyan to remember those four students who died. Their loss has left this campus deeply in grief. We love these four individuals. Um, we're mourning. We're grieving. Here is family. Um, it's not, we're not just students. We're not just friends. We're family here. And we lost loved ones last night. The four died the way they lived, together as friends in a wreck which happened just feet from the school's main gate. We wouldn't have thought in a million years it would have been a Wesleyan student that would have died in front of the school. The school's president spent the day personally meeting with the families of Denisha Scott, Candace McBride Jones, Robin St. Clair Barnes, and Kadisha Brown to offer sympathy and comfort while the school tried to embrace grieving classmates. Some are doing better than others, but we have grief counselors and uh, ministerial staff uh, on campus dealing with those, trying to meet all the needs. On campus, the four freshmen were known for their warmth. One thing about these ladies um, you should know is that they loved everybody. And just by the way they lived life, they didn't take life for granted. And though tonight there is grief at their loss, the four will remain in the hearts of many here at the school. They will forever be a part of our families. Right now, this campus is closed to outsiders as students here grieve. In a day or two, they will have a more public memorial to honor the four lives which were lost. In Rocky Mount, I'm Steve Sprasian, North Carolina News. The driver of the other vehicle involved in the crash was transported to UNC Nash Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries.